We've got a situation here where the ball is way below my feet. I'm on a side hill bank and it's very difficult down to, to get down to the bottom of the ball. So what do I need to do? Well, first and foremost, I've got to use the full length of the club in order for me to get it down as far as I possibly can. So we're going to grip the club at the very end, even a little bit off it. The second thing then is I'm going to make sure that I lean forward, that I don't lean back. I lean with the slope. The ball position is going to be the same as normal. But what's going to happen, because the ball is so much below me, my golf swing is going to get a little bit steeper. And as it gets steeper, I'm going to end up swinging to the left and the ball will cut off to the right. So I know before I hit this shot that that ball is going to move excessively to the right because of the interaction of the head of the club with the grass as well, or with the lie of the ground. So I'm going to aim maybe 15 yards left of the target. First and foremost, I'm going to grip the very end of the club, aim my body left, stay leaning forward as good a posture as I can. And from this position here, I'm going to know that there's going to be more of an arms golf swing. It's going to be more up and down. And because of the way the ground is lying, the ball is going to curve off to the right. So, key points again when you get into a position like this where the ball is excessively below your feet on a side slope. Grip the club at the very end of the club, at the grip I should say, to try and make the club as long as you possibly can. Aim your body to the left of the target. Because of the lie, the ball is going to curve off to the right. And the second thing then is, make sure that when you swing the club, that is, your swing is naturally going to be more armsy. You're not going to try and swing or turn behind you, it'll be steeper. So up and keep turning and let that club swing left so the ball will actually move to the right.